Hello, I'm Samson Krupen. And I'm R.T. Steckel. And welcome to The, the News. News. <laughs> With a Z. How did you do that? Are you a wizard? A lot of magic going on right here. And in national news, the Arizona shooter Jared Loeffner reportedly entered a plea of not guilty in court the other week. Really? Not guilty? Yeah, R.T., apparently he was chuckling in court. I can't wait to see if he chuckles once he has his first prison shower. Yeah, you know, people have been asking the question, could this have been stopped? Yes, it could have been stopped. Look at this crazy-ass white boy. Look at that picture. You know what? If they're profiling for terrorists at the airport, they need to start profiling for crazy-ass white people. Look at that picture. You know, with white people, there comes a fine line between crazy and drunk. Like, look. Crazy. Drunk. drunk. Crazy. Drunk. Drunk and crazy? Sorry, Mel, you've lost your freedom! Which brings us to our next point. Here at the news, we'd like to officially apologize for white people. Sorry, world. It seems we've let things go and we've let other races down. We've been responsible for several bad things throughout history, like Jared Loeffner, like Ted Bundy, like Charles Manson, Cher, Jeffrey Dahmer, yep. the Holocaust, yep. slavery, okay, okay, the Oklahoma okay, City okay, bomber, okay, we can, we the Unabomber. Hey, okay, okay, we can probably stop right there. I mean, white people have done some bad things, yeah, but we've also done a lot of good things, too. Like, we invented popcorn. No, RT, that was the Indians, and we killed them, too. Damn. Yeah. In international news, there's trouble brewing in Egypt. But here at the news, we actually have a rioter who's willing to talk to us. We now go to Kareem Akhtar, Jabud Dar, Israeli Jihada. How you doing? Hey, that's right, homie. It's going down here in Egypt, cuz. We out here rioting with Saeed. Definitely some Western uh, influence yes, in there. Yes, from the west side you know what of Egypt. Yeah. We out here throwing down up in Egypt, cuz. Fertile Crescent, homie. Did he just say cuz? <laughs> I think he said cuz. Wow. Government stuff, homie, that's going down out here in Egypt. We ain't having it, cuz. We out here rioting and protesting and all that stuff, homie. You know how we do West Side Egypt, cuz. Good to see uh, American influence over there. Yeah, exactly. Wow, well, we support you. In entertainment news, Jonathan Knight from the New Kids on the Block has officially come out of the closet. In lieu of this, he will be starting a new super gay pop group. That's right. The super gay group entitled The Backside Boys consists of Lance Bass, Jonathan Knight, and of course Clay Aiken. The album Caution Open Manhole comes out this spring. Wow. I can't wait to go see that concert. Also in entertainment news, Charlie Sheen is back in rehab again. That's right. What was first believed to be a hernia caused by an eight ball trapped inside a hooker's boot in his lower intestine is now confirmed as a 36-hour coke binge involving a briefcase full of coke, a porno actress he paid 30 grand, and his neighbor he offered a million dollars to rent out his mansion to start his porn family. And he also apparently filmed the evening's festivities doing a Tom Cruise scene from the movie Risky Business, Naked. Here at the news, we have a video clip of that footage. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. <laughs> Just take those old records off. Yeah! Bring on the coat, bitches! Where's my briefcase of coat? I'm starting a porn family! Ow! Two and a half men! Suck it! Suck two and a half men! Whoa. Well, that's the news for this week. I'm Samson Krupen. And I'm R.T. Steckel. And remember, don't sleep on the news. <laughs> you did it again! You're like a necromancer, some sort of wizard. Black magic? <laughs> the news is brought to you by Taco Bell. 30% beef, 70% bullshit. Taco Bell.